Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be taking a look at one of the most commonly confused parts of logic in the game, the JK flip-flop and the SR latch. Now these are two very similar logical elements, but they are fundamentally different. They do work differently and they do make a difference in your creation. Now, I'm not a programmer, I'm not a computer science major, I'm a structural engineer, so I don't know coding and stuff as well as some others which is going to help you because I'm going to explain the difference of these two in layman's terms. So it should be easy for everyone to follow. You don't have to have a degree in computer sciences. Now here you have the SR latch. Of course, this is kind of the old school block before they had the microcontroller. It works just the same. And here is the JK flip flop. Again, same thing. And if we jump into the logic here for each one of these, you see you can't select them in this case, but they have, they both have set features. They both have reset features. They both have output nodes and they both have not output nodes. Within a microcontroller, you can have access to them just the same and you can see here when you place them they have the exact same thing set reset output and not output again they look similar and even reading this can be set reset using on off outputs and then if we go to the sr pretty much says the same thing so what is the difference in the description here you actually do get a bit more of a description, but if you're a visual person like me, reading this, you may not really understand what it means. This, for the SR latch, it says, an SR latch that can be set, reset using on off outputs. When both inputs are off, there's no change in state. If both set and reset are set to on, reset will take precedence, okay? So we no learned here, reset takes precedence. Whereas in the JK flip-flop, it says um, the second sentence, when both inputs are off, there's no change in state. If both set and reset are set to on, the state will be toggled. Okay, so that kind of gives us a very, very basic overview of the difference. Before I give you an example of how they actually work and the difference, I will show you how this even came to be because I honestly used to use them interchangeably. I didn't even think about it. And then I was developing my transmission here, where if I press space, it switches from drive to park. So space, 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 I'm switching. And if I hold space, it turns to park. So for example, drive, now holding space, holding space, turns to park, I let go of space. So that is how I wanted it to work. But this is what kept happening. So I was pressing space, switches, and now if I start holding space, holding, 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 well, nothing's happening. I'm still holding it. Now, if I let go, boom, park. So it worked only when I let go of space, not when, not after three seconds of holding it. So you have to let go. And I didn't like that. Something was wrong. So I had my microcontroller and I had myself the SR latch that you see here and that was what was causing the issue but i had no idea and just by a miracle i'm like what happens if i just try this jk flip-flop and i went ahead and tried it and lo and behold the thing worked and that got me thinking because again i'd used it interchangeably for years at this point and finally i was able to see that it does have an impact now, how I was using it up until this point was as this system where one button sets it and one button resets it. So set, reset, and you could see it works the same way. You press set a billion times, reset turns everything off. So for me, this was a basic logical element of kind of like a memory store. So it saved what we wanted and gave us a way to retain the value, retain our pretty much store the state. So this is the logical nodes and you can see it's as expected. These ones goes to pressed set and these go to press reset. 
they're just push buttons and they work like that now keep in mind in the jk flip-flop it said if both set and reset are set to on the state will be toggled hmm so what if we try this button here where if we press the button it presses both set and reset at the exact same time how does that work look at that so we are able to fully set and reset just by pressing one button so in in essence this is a toggleable button and to be honest i've never used it in this way but i do find it fascinating because it really does work quite well as just a simple simple part of logic if you want a push button to toggle on a system of course i asked chat gpt to give me the differences because i needed it explained to me and in essence i'm gonna save you a lot of the reading and my conversation but it did come back with some information sr latch is useful for simple memory storage remembering if a button was pressed it may behave unpredictably jk flip-flop more suitable for clocked systems like toggle states on a timed signal so for example me holding space it was timed and it ensures stable toggling and then it says which one do you need to use if you need simple memory element sr latch is fine if you need stable clocked system that toggles predictably use the jk flip-flop so that's quite interesting and then it did go and give me kind of the information of the resetting and setting what specifically happens and one thing that's neat is in a jk flip-flop it actually toggles the state once per press unlike an sr latch that reacts instantly so if the button is held the state changes only once so it's like a pulse which is quite interesting and then i asked it what does clocked mean because i'm not familiar with that term in terms of programming and it explained to me that it just simulates a clock by the push button but in essence the sr latch will respond to any change in inputs it'll keep acting and reacting so in essence it keeps trying to be toggled if you hold it um and it might bounce or misfire the jk flip-flop changes on the clock so on the button toggles once per press and that's kind of the key there so there you have it you can use set reset with the jk flip-flops you can use set and a separate reset for both depending on your need so in essence the jk flip-flops probably superior but both of them serve a good purpose and what you'll do or what you'll also find is in extremely complex microcontrollers such as this with all kinds of stuff going on i always use the sr latches or jk flip-flops whenever i want a state to be saved now keep in mind here i use the pulse toggle to push i also just could have used the simple jk flip-flop skipped this altogether, but by putting the pulse it in essence makes it work kind of like the jk flip-flop but regardless it saves the state now this huge microcontroller this is only a part of it but you can see buried within the code when you want to save the state you can use these two yes you could use the single um this one the push to toggle which will save whether you've toggled or not but be aware by using this you have no control over which state you're currently in whereas with these two you can have a function resetting it and making sure you're not toggled and then you can toggle it again here you're just in essence like russian relate you're just you know <laughs> which mode you're in you'll never know you might be in the right one and if you kind of keep track of pressing not pressing you you should be okay but in this case you'll be able to track it so there you go thank you for watching this short tutorial video hopefully you learned something about the sr latch and the jk flip-flop the memory functions and hopefully you can use them in your own creations of course i want to give a huge shout out to all of my supporters my discord server boosters and my youtube members they get to enjoy early release creations and 
they get to show me extra love. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. And I do want to give a huge thank you to all of you who watch these videos, comment, support, talk on the Discord server, all that good stuff. So thank you. And until next time, happy Stormrixing, everyone.